Hi, my name is Alejandra Valenzuela. Thanks for coming to watch this video. If you haven't seen any of my videos before, I'm new to YouTube and uh, I am just posting things that are inspiring to me, stuff that I'm currently going through because a few months ago I got a message from Spirit uh, that told me to do it. <laughs> To, to literally get on YouTube and start making videos. If you can believe that, okay? I'm still trying to believe this, but it, it's true. <laughs> uh, and it's funny because every time that I finish posting, you know, I'll do a video and then I post it, I always think, oh my God, what am I gonna do next? You know, I'm, I'm truly, it's like one step at a time and I cannot see anymore. So this, this next one popped up, this topic and this subject of ancestral healing, because it's something that I'm immersed in right now. And it is some of the coolest healing work I've ever done. And I think, I mean, I don't know how many of you watching this video have already done ancestral healing work, but for me, it was completely off my radar. And the only reason it was presented to me is because my friend is a teacher and was the person who conducted the courses that I've recently taken. So I just feel very grateful and it feels good to share about it. So that's why I'm sharing it with, uh, with all of you, all 42 of you. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know how many are going to watch this, but it doesn't matter, honestly. Uh, I'm trusting and this is how it's going down. <laughs> okay, so um, let me give some a little bit of background. I started doing ancestral healing work about two months ago, maybe a little bit before that. I uh, was in the most amazing place ever to do the work. I was in the state of Bahia in Brazil, right on the water, with not just the beautiful ocean uh, for me to go to every day and to cleanse and to, you know, to integrate the, all the work, all the energy work we were doing, but there was also this beautiful river that came right to the mouth of uh, where the ocean hit. So you had this freshwater river and the ocean. It was such an incredible place. And I couldn't have asked for a better location to start it. But honestly, it's good wherever you do this in the world. So you don't need to be there. But if you are, that's awesome. Uh, <laughs> so the place I was in was an eco village, and animals were everywhere. Okay, we. Uh, um, live in harmony with all of them. So we had everything from giant tarantulas to snakes to scorpions to crazy monkeys that were like Mission Impossible coming in to steal your bananas from your kitchen to um, beautiful jellyfish to amazing birds, to turtles. I got to see so many turtles, turtle births. It was beautiful. I did a video on that one too. And uh, the first ancestral healing work that I did, it was a five week course. And um, it was very interesting. So it was all in Portuguese, you know, I'm in Brazil. And it was bunch, with a bunch of Brazilians. There was about 25 maybe in the first class. And um, the first night, I, I wanted to share with you a story of when we opened up the work. And this is when I knew, all right, something's going down. This is the real deal. Okay. So I think I had already been in this Echo Village for a while. Um, but I hadn't seen uh, any snakes yet. And at one point during the course, we're all seated on the floor and we're about to open up the meditation and ask permission from our lineages to be able to do this work. Um, in particular, we went to our mother and our father, the spirit of them, 
to ask if it's okay to open for work. And at that moment, a snake <laughs> slithered into the room. And a few, a couple women noticed it at first and very nonchalantly, very casually to not cause alarm with the entire class. They said, you know, can everybody please stand up and move to the side? Because there's a snake in the room. <laughs> and it was so close to me. Oh my gosh, you have no idea. I was, I was on the floor and I was right by where this like, kind of like saloon doors that are short on the ground that's uh, where it slithered through. But instead of going right to where I was seated, it headed left. So uh, there was a gentleman in, in the class who got a broom, you know, carefully took it just out. And, you know, it's, it's living with us in this eco village. So we don't harm it or anything. But as soon as that snake came in, you know, I've been listening a lot to nature. She gives us so many signs. And if you look up snake medicine, it's about, you know, transformation. It was all, it was a good omen to me that something was about to happen. And from there, the first, uh, the first course was incredible. For simplicity, he had us um, work with four different lineages. And it was the father of my father, the mother of my father, the father of my mother, and the mother of my mother. And um, I lovingly call them my Bito and my Bita and my Tata and my Nana. Um, my Tata and Nana are already in the astral. They've already crossed over. And I love them very much. And as I make this video, I know that uh, they can hear me <laughs> and that they feel my love. And my Vito and my Vita, thankfully, are still alive. And um, I am very grateful. I am very grateful to be their granddaughter, all four of them. So, you know, the thing about ancestral healing one of the things that blew me away when my friend was teaching the course, he says that um, depending on what culture we come from, we may be the first person in our lineage that has truly called upon our ancestors in over a thousand years. Can you imagine that? It really blew me away, you know? I mean, take a moment right now and think about if you've ever called upon your ancestors. And I'm not talking just the ones whose names you remember. I'm talking about, you know, hundreds of years ago. You know, can you, have you ever called on them before? I never had, at least I don't, not consciously, you know? And um, one of the important things that we were able to do and what I wanted to share about because I thought it was so cool is we were asked to create altars for them. And my, my friend, the teacher of the course, his name is Steve. I'll just call him Steve. <laughs> I love you, Steve, oh, by the way. Oh, and I'm so grateful that you gave this course. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, so Steve was saying that um, the altar is uh, a very important place for the work. And what we put on our altar is things that bring us joy. It's offerings to them uh, to say we are thankful that they're coming to help us, that we're thankful that we have them to call upon so that we can heal our lineages. And what was the coolest thing, which was kind of mind-blowing because it was so simple when he explained it this way, is that imagine if you're the first person calling upon your lineages in a long time, well, first of all, then you have to be talking every day to your altar, not for a very long time, but just, you know, calling them. 
And because they are in different dimensions right now and different realms, in order for them to come here, they need a place to land their energy. And that's what the altar's for. <laughs> it's like so simple. It makes so much sense to me. It's kind of like when you invite someone into your home, you know, you, do you want to sit down? Would you like a glass of water? It's the exact same thing when we're calling in our ancestors. Here is your altar. Let me leave you some food. Would you like some tobacco? Would you like a little shot of tequila, you know, on your altar? Um, and Steve was saying that they love food, by the way. <laughs> I couldn't leave that much because of this eco village. You know, we were kind of afraid that I didn't want to attract any animals any more than they already were coming to our place trying to steal our food especially those monkeys. <laughs> um, so, so yeah, it was an incredible experience. And one of the things, so then I, I jumped it. So I, I worked on and I made, um, one thing I should mention, when we call upon our ancestors, one of the most fascinating things, I, I didn't know this, but we're not calling on all of them. And there's good reason for it because not all of them are in a very high vibration or in the best state in the beyond. Yes, but we're looking for the ones that are at peace and are very high vibration. And he calls them our avatars, our mentors, and our guides. And there's a whole process in calling them in, which was awesome. And then right before we left uh, this, this beautiful place, he, uh, my friend decides to do a intensive, a four-day intensive with two classes a day. It was so much energy work. And in between those classes, we had to go to the river and cleanse ourselves because it was just a lot for our system. Um, I really love that I got to take the course with Brazilians, you know? And I've got these, um, these braids on right now. There's a story behind them that I thought I would share about because I really loved it. So one of the women, when she called upon her lineage, one of her lineages, her mentor appeared and he was this dude with these massive dreads. And she said he was so powerful and she was just blown away by, by this person. And he told her that she could do a type of healing work, a type of energy work, and anchor in ancestry for other people through the use of these braids. So I, uh, you know, I, I was, I was about to leave. It was like the, the week that I was leaving and um, I saw her on the, on the pathway and she, I saw her braiding loads of people's hairs. And uh, she looks at me, you know, in Portuguese and she's like, vamos fazer, you know, like, let's do it for you. And I was like, yes, let's do it. So these represent, okay, this one is on my left side. This is on my right. And then this one is down the center going back here. So it, um, what I chose to work on is I wanted to anchor in my maternal side. I wanted to anchor in my paternal lineages. And then I wanted equilibrium and balance for the two of them. And I got to tell you, I really feel it. It was beautiful when she braided my hair. She was praying. She told me to put on, you know, music. I put on some medicine songs. It was, it was so wonderful. <laughs> Um, and I just wanted to let you guys know that this work, I don't know if there's science that can prove that this healing is actually taking place, but ancestral healing is, um, is a beautiful way to give back to the lineage that you come from and support anyone who comes after you. Because imagine if you go in and can heal certain wounds and traumas that have existed and have been passed down from generation to generation, it's one thing to 
heal it within you. But it doesn't necessarily mean that it was healed in the lineage. It means you broke the pattern. But the person who comes after you, your children, it, it doesn't necessarily mean that they will break the pattern. Does that make sense? So when you go back into your lineage and this work, we were able to make tiny repairs. Um, this, this number, I'm still trying to wrap my head around because I, I don't understand it, but he, he said this in the course, that we have billions of ancestors. And I said, wait a minute, Steve, that's, that's a lot of people. Really? Billions? And he said, yes. Since the era, since the commencement of Homo sapiens on planet Earth, all of that leading down to us being born right now, alive and walking the earth right now, we come from billions of people. Think about that. So I really like it. Um, uh, my friend Steve would like to, uh, he, he will be doing more coursework. So I thought it would be nice if anyone would like to, to do this work. I was going to put his information underneath this video. He is, uh, he speaks English fluently. He lived in New York for loads of years. He's originally from Russia, so he speaks fluent Russian. He's lived in Brazil for 20 years, so he speaks fluent Portuguese. And he also speaks some Spanish and French and German. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's, uh, it's really annoying. <laughs> I wish I spoke that many languages. But I love you, Steve. I love you so much. Um, the last night of the intensive work, I was bawling. It was the most powerful healing experience, and I really loved it. So um, whether or not you choose to do ancestral healing work, I thought it would be nice to just give a little gift right now, if you feel called. Uh, just a very quick meditation. So if I could ask you to close your eyes, and I'll close mine as well. I ask for you to get comfortable. Focus on your breath. Take nice inhales all the way in. Filling up your lungs, expanding, feeling the expansion and let it out, just release. And again, taking a deep inhale in. deep breath in. And I'd like for you to bring an awareness to your heart. This beautiful muscle inside of you that beats for you daily. Allowing you to go about your daily life Allowing you to have all the relationships that you currently have as it circulates all of the blood you hold. All of this blood has been passed down to you from generation to generation. Feel the life inside, like a river that has, coming from a, that has come from a stream from so long ago. How many billions of people has this passed down through all of your lineages and has reached you now in your life? You can go ahead if you even want to focus on a single red blood cell. Maybe hold it in your hand like a tender prayer. How many stories does it hold? How many tears has it shed? How 
many joys, how many triumphs, how many moments of longing, how many prayers have been sent to you from your mentors, from your guides, and the avatars of your lineage. Hear their whispers. Hear and feel the love and loving messages they send to you now. Hear the music. Hear the beat of their drums. Hear their voices. Hear their singing. They are here for you. They have never left. You are the keeper, the sacred keeper of this energy stream. You beautiful soul that chose to incarnate and walk proudly as an ancestor, as a descendant of their lineage and as an ancestor of all to come after you. On behalf of all my ancestors, I bow to yours. I bow to the courage that they had to walk upon this earth. I bow to all their dreams, to all their hopes and wishes. May you carry their light proudly as a fierce warrior of divine love, understanding the truest of your essence in your body, in your soul. Bear witness to Mother Earth, the home of all of us and every single one in your lineage before you. Their footsteps have walked upon her. We thank you, Mother Earth, for being our most sacred home. We thank you, Father Sky, Father Sun, for pouring down your light and allowing the divine union between sun and earth to flourish. May Mother Gaia, all of nature, support us on our journeys. May we hear the prayers and the best wishes from the wind. May she cry with us and hold us in the tears of her rain. And when we place our feet upon the earth, may we feel her love and her blessing for all her children, all who came before, all who are present now, and all who shall ever come. Amen. Call an awareness back to your breath. And if you're ready and you feel back into your body, go ahead and open your eyes. Welcome back. <laughs> God bless you. And God bless the blood that runs through your veins. I send you my love. Aho to all of our ancestors. Namaste.